Hello, good morning and evening everyone. My name is Adison Yimsuk. I'm from Thailand, Maidon University. First and foremost, I would like to, to thank you, the committee, for giving me the opportunity to present my own research in this uh, conference. My research topic is employing the PMC model for comprehensive assessment of Thailand COVID policies with an investor perspective. I work with my professor, Sotalat Thammabusadi from uh, Mahidon University. I hope that you can find my research useful for the future. Before I get started, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Adison Yimsuk. I'm from Thailand. I'm currently a graduate student of IT management at University. In my free time, I like uh, running, working out, trekking, and reading books. So next, I would like to uh, give you the agenda for my today's presentation. Firstly, I will talk about problem area and the need of research. Secondly, I will go through the inputs and uh, research methodology. Thirdly, I will show you the results and afterward we will we would go to the conclusion respectively. Finally, I will finish this presentation with the discussion. Okay, firstly, I'm going through the problem area. In Thailand, we have been through the critical uh, situation caused by COVID-19, same as other countries. The Thai government have been working all day, all night, trying to reduce the loss as much as possible. One of the tools is emergency policies being carefully announced to help citizens and slow spreading, such as lockdown and uh, country closure policy. At the same time, when these emergency policies were enforced, the stock market was also fluctuated or influenced according to the policies. So it, it becomes the need of our research is to contribute an effective policy model to evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of uh, COVID-19 policies in Thailand with investor perspectives. Why we need the investor perspective? Because we expected that this policy model will cover every indicator which can identify the efficacy of policy as much as possible. So that's the reason we uh, include the investor perspective into one of indicators. This is aiming for policy makers in, in the next enhancement. So obviously for the input data, we uh, analyze COVID-19 uh, public policy by the Thai government. So this kind of information are collected to the Thai government website and they are categorized by four groups containment and closure, health system, economic responses, and miscellaneous. Second, the chains of stock price in the same duration of uh, policy enforcement are corrected from uh, the stock exchange of Thailand or SETS. And thirdly, the number of daily confirmed cases in Thailand is also taken for the analysis. Afterwards, I'd like to talk about research methodology. This research used policy modeling consistency index or PMC index proposed by Ruiz Estenda from University of Malaya as a main model and we add stock price change level into one of indicators 
in the first phase of the model. This model consists of four phases. The first one is classification of variables, and the second one is uh, tabulating input output for uh, quantitative evaluation, and the third phase is uh, calculation PMC index score, and finally the fourth phase is construction of PMC surface as shown on figure 4. So the stock price change is designed as one parameter in the first phase. The first phase of PMC model is a classification of variables as shown on table 1. So we design 10 main variables x1 to x10 at the beginning following Thailand characteristic. And the level of changing is added as x5. As x5, it is compared with uh, the inflation rate in the same duration. For example, if uh, larger is going to be x5.1, I, I will explain it later. Next, the sub variables in each main are then designed as you can see uh, x1.1, x1.2 or x5.1 is like uh, for x5.1 uh, is uh, when the stock has large pos positive change or more than 5% x5.2 it means uh, intermediate uh, positive change 3 to 5 percent and uh, at 5.3 as uh, new, neutral level around not more than uh, past minus 3 percent this one of uh, the example of uh, main and sub variables Afterwards, all main and sub variables are tabulated into the input and output table as shown on table 2. This table, all main and sub variables. For the third phase is to calculate PMC score. So we will input a policy and match policy context with each, each sub variable one by one. If that context is linked to that sub variable, it will be equal to one, otherwise equal to zero. Following the binary system, zero and one as PMC concept. As shown on this equation. Next for the next calculation uh, process after we know the score of sub variables, we will find the average of sub variable. Then we will get the average score of that category or the main variables x, xi as shown on this equation. Finally, the score of each will be summarized as equation 3, this equation, to find the total score of PMC index this so it means we will uh, find the uh, average of each category categories category and then we will find the sum for the total PMC index score so this table or table 3 show the possible maximum score which we can calculate based on the design indicators. So the maximum is uh, 7.12 as shown in this uh, table. Final phase of 
the model is to generate PMC surface by filling the score into 3 by T matrix. Then we will construct PMC surface as equation 4. And figure 5, this one is the final PMC surface that we want. But as you can see, x1 is excluded because that category has less significant weight compared to others. So we're gonna use only x2 to x10. Next, I would like to uh, present the example of results as figure 6. The curve field policy is considered and the PMC score is 5. Uh, 24, which is in the good level according to the criteria. This criteria. And the outstanding is X3, X3, and X8, which are policy uh, level enforcing for the whole nation. X3 is the policy level enforcing. And X8 is uh, policy coverage for all people, respectively, like uh, all edges. And final PMC surface show on this uh, right side. Next is uh, the example of country course policy and later business shutdown is also considered. As we are able to notice that PMC score of business shutdown has higher than uh, two of country closer policy and, and uh, like uh, country closer and lockdown policy. They are in the same uh, containment and closer group. So uh, it means the third uh, shutdown policy, especially for the business, doing better with the overall score as uh, 6.11 in, in the perfect level. Regarding X5, X5, this one, the level of stock chains is also in X5.1, or the large positive. So obviously, this time, the policy maker can gain the investor sent sentiment <clears throat> better than previous enforcement and the PMC surface is shown as the right side for policy maker to re review the overall of uh, score. Well, then I'd like to uh, talk about the conclusion of this work. All policies are evaluated and summarized in table 4, this table. Significantly, we can notice that when the government is up on policy support or X6, the reproduction rate or the uh, infection rate, X7 also increase, X6 and X7 also increase. For example, the, the closer and containment group is sensible. Next, there are positive chains of stock market X5 when X6 or policy support has more uh, support fields. X5 and X6 is relative. As you can see, the last positive when X6 is higher. This one. And next, about the discussion, after we analyze and evaluate some processes by our model, uh, we can notice, like uh, as a policy maker, like if we expand policy support, the overall score is also increased. Example, the government should uh, announce one policy which support or angle as much as possible to prevent the overlapping between policy and to reduce the loss.
Accordingly, when policy support more, the investor sentiment seems tended to be higher, so the stock price change should be one of consideration to reflect the impact on economy at the beginning. Next, the policy area X2 is also important as the overall score will be higher when the coverage is improved. Finally, for the future work, the findings should be considered with other relative stock factors such as efficient market hypothesis or EMH and random walk model. To understand investor behaviors, it will be more better if we can link the fluctuation of stock with investor behaviors. So the scoring process would be uh, better. Secondly, for the further data analysis, techniques could be applied to uh, limit human bias, bias. For the currently, we are using the manual in scoring process. So if we can change it into data analysis, such as text mining, it will help in this limitation. So that's about my uh, research. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope that this research will be advantageous for everyone. Thank you.